Wombat. So ladies and gentlemen, fight number six this evening is an amateur lightweight bout contested over three three minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 70.5 kilos and trains out of combat lab martial arts, holding an undefeated amateur record of two wins for zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome William Rosen. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 67.05 kilos hey. and trains out of So of the Hulk Gym in Perth, holding an undefeated amateur record of one win with zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sebastian Zale. <laughs> when your action begins, your referee in charge, Phil Cassidy. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round number one. We've got a special guest, Benny. We have a special guest. None other than uh, Cool Bones. Welcome, Cool Bones. Hello, brother. How are you doing? Mate, I'm doing just fine. You're looking absolutely sensational tonight, as usual. Thank you very much, brother. It's great to be commentating with you guys. Mate, we have an absolute cracker tonight. We've got Sebastian Saleh and Will Rosen. And we're seeing these boys and... The last few fights have been very quick, very quick. A lot of knockouts, very quick fights. It's, uh, it's been very cool, very, very cool. Now uh, we've got Sebastian Soleil. He's from WA. They brought him all the way from Perth, Cool Bones. But he fought on the last XFC that we were on. He's got a very Lichito, uh, Lyoto Machida kind of style. He bounces back and forth. I really like his style. He's got a... Uh, Tough one, though, against Rosin, who's going to go up high with those kicks. So it'll be interesting how he handles that. And combat, like, but it's uh, Sunny Coast, isn't it? Certainly is, my man. Those guys are good. I, I love the name, too. Combat Lab. Very uh, breaking bad. And uh, our man, Daniel Maudsley, over there in the corner. He's the uh, striking coach over there at Combat Lab. Over with Joel Zepasvari. G'day, Joel. How you going, champion? And everyone up on the Sunshine Coast watching us. And uh, over in the other corner, we've got the Hulk. Soa Palele. Those boys just feeling the low hands out at the moment. The, oh, sorry, sorry. The low hands from the uh, boy from WA. Yeah, it is. He's going to have to watch oh. that against someone like Rosin as well. He was super impressive in his XFC uh, debut performance, Saleh. So uh, looking to make it 2 0 here. Yeah, Saleh was very impressive. And uh, I've actually seen Will Rosin fight as well on another card. And uh, he impressed me as well. So this is actually a very good card uh, when you look at this one on paper. I'm seeing uh, a lot of good guys coming out of WA too. They come over here and they do their thing. And, and they're hard, hard boys, eh? Very hard boys. It's a long flight home if you lose. Like Mitch Martin, he's a killer. Yeah, mate, he's very talented, very talented young man. Ooh, it's a lay there looking for the trip. Against the cage. Hopefully he gets that head control. Head control, there you go. He comes yeah. in with that head control. There he goes, head control. He's, he's got to get that head in there, Chris. He's not doing it at the moment effectively. Oh, there we go. A bit of a fucking jab to pop out. Okay. That's Cool Bones, baby, ladies and gentlemen. We will not apologise for Cool Bones. Very we can't sorry, apologise for him. I got a little excited. Sorry, people. Hope the kids are tucked away in bed. How's the beers going? Give us a shout out on Facebook. Moving around, hands very low, but he thinks, seems to know what he's doing. Very Taekwondo, I see. Yeah, he's actually won one. multiple medals in karate, so uh, it's very interesting to see the different styles that we have in this sport matching up. That's why we love it. MMA at its finest, ladies and gentlemen.
we move back around number two. Let's see if these hands are uh, going to stay as low as they were. Because he's uh, confident. He's a confident man. Look, the hands are low, but he is getting inside and out. He's bouncing on those toes. And he's in and out of range at the moment. Very low in his stance. I like that. He's very loose. <laughs> loose as a goose. Oh, see, he went for that back kick. Oh, the back kick. Oh, very good counter. Very cool counter. Come on, Lee. Very Taekwondo. Very karate. I like it. He's loose. Oh, went for that single. What's the lay? Oh, there he goes. Big double down. leg. Hey, big good double leg. Buddy got back up. That was very cool. Very cool. Both boys are very loose. I like the loose. Hey, good inside leg kick. Inside leg kick. And we've been banging on about this all night, haven't we, uh, Benny? Mate, just the standard of this uh, amateur is just, it, it's just going up and up and up. Well, they mate, look like pros, what I've been seeing. These, these like kids pros. could be pros. You know, Chris, you've been around a long time. Um, and, and, and like myself, they, these guys could have been pros a few years ago and they would have been... Uh, they would have been very well ranked. Yeah, very, very, very true, Benny. I would be worried to fight him. Switching stands, it's here for Salo. Oh, I see he's picking, 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 waiting for something. See, he's, he's, I reckon he's drawing something in. He's drawing something in. He's trying to pick him, pick him, pick him. He's thinking, 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 thinking. I'm talking about a WA boy. Clinch up uh, again. Where's that head control? We need that head control. Head control is the deadliest stuff. It's just like another limb. You gotta use it. There's yeah, something that he hasn't picked up yet in his uh, arsenal, but he's still very effective. Oh, that nice reap. oh what reap. a sweep. That was a wicked leg sweep. Now it'll be interesting what he can do now from top position. Hopefully this control stays on top, stays heavy. Oh, it's always about the hips, the hips, the hips, the hips. If you can keep the hips in, in line and you can control their hips, deadly. Very deadly. Very, very, very deadly. He's done another great oh. job to get back. Right hand lands. I reckon that got him a little bit. But whatever it is, it's always hips. Always hips. Hips are the deadliest things. Your, your hips is... It's what connects everything together. Oh, there's a, bit, a little bit of blood coming from the news. A little bit of claret from Rods in there, as uh, Chris Coolbones has told us. He's coming on now, trying to get a little bit of dominance in this cage, trying to take centre there. When I see the blood, I want to aim for it. So That's what I, I want to aim for. He's a wily cat, though. Oh, here we go. Against the cage right near us. Very cool. He's cut the cage off nicely there. Oh, he very him. Head control. We wish there was some head control. Oh, bit of body shot. Bit of body shot. Oh, there's another. Oh, hey, they're landing hard. They are Huge oh, body big shots knee. there by Soleil. Yeah, you got to watch that. Hey, big knees and big body shots. I didn't hear Bodies. the horn, boys, but that's the end of the round. They were huge body shots there. I'll be interested if they do take their toll later in this fight. Underrated, but those things will, will win a fight. They will win a fight. As you see on screen, Daniel Maudsley, our ring announcer and co-commentator going to work there in the corner. So are the Hulk Palele giving instructions to Sebastian Zale. Let's talk about Dan Maudsley. How good does he look in a suit in, in a the corner? corner? Palele, he's a big man. He's Isn't a crazy he? man. He loves he's it. a big man. I looked up to a lot of these guys and it's, uh, it's crazy. And he can take a hit, that man. One of the true and veterans he can give of the a sport. Hit. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Or is this the last round? Round three, ladies and gentlemen. It certainly is. Oh, these guys are warring like every other fight. Boom. Let's do it. Slay Rosen, round number three. All right, my boy from WA. I forget his name, but it doesn't matter. He is a weapon. He likes to wing it. He likes to dance. A little bit of Wing Chun, maybe. Oh. Ooh, nice outside leg kick. Hey, he was doing a little fake there. I like yeah. the fakes. Shifting the hips nicely. Wombat, we've had the pleasure to Ooh, have seen Soleil before. See, and he's got I feel like he's really come along as well since the last time we saw him. He looks so relaxed in there at the moment. Yeah, 100%. I, I like his style. Yeah, the sorry, the way I see these guys, they're amateurs. They don't look like amateurs. Like, they're moving like pro fighters. 
and that's what I love about this show. The, the amateurs, it's it's an amateur show right now, but right now it looks pro. They're so composed, Chris, and that's one of the things. I know when I had my first fight, I can't even remember it. It went so quick, and you just... I remember it, and you are a disgusting <laughs> man. You're crazy. Crazy. Who brought this guy into the commentary team? Oh, I don't know, but uh, we love it, don't we, mate? We love it. As we, we get go. back to the action. And that's where the head control... Look at that head control. Okay, the head is a, such a big thing. Look at it. Look at how, how he is controlling him with that head. Every time you control like that with the head, they got... And see, he pulled it away. Wasn't as controlled. But now they're back in the middle, dancing around, dancing around. Oh, he lands oh. that counter straight again. Here's a oh. nice little trip. That was another trip. That was another beautiful trip. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, wow. oh here's that. Launched him. Yes. And, they <laughs> and they're smiling because they love it. Because they're agree. doing a great job. Boys are having fun in there. Oh, big right hand. I love that. These guys are quick. They're technical. And they're funky. I love the funk. This is the future of MMA here. Everybody loves the funk. The music, the funk. You want to sing a little song? I would. I'm thinking Uptown Funk. Uptown Funk it up. Uptown Funk it up. Woo! I like it. I like it. But I like As it. we get back to the action, Rosin using that cage pressure now. Bit of James Brown, baby. Okay, so you got Rosin here trying to use his underhook, but trying to lock up the other one. And there's the head control. So this is the head control from the other boy from Combat Labs. Salah is still working that body oh. and punches going oh. low, then going high. These guys got energy to last for days. Tell you this, Chris. Oh, boom! I'm glad. Oh, oh. Wow. He lands up in half guard here. Talk us through this position, Corbones. A little bit of half guard, but it's done. There it is. It's done. It's dusted. What a cracking fight. That was a fun fight. That was a fun fight. And how did you feel in there, Cool Bones? Did you, did you enjoy that or what? I got excited, bro. Mate, you, uh, mate, I'd tell you you were excited. I was very excited. <laughs> it makes me want to get back in. It's been a long time for me, man. And we will see Cool, cool Bones back in the last fight. So if uh, you haven't put your kids to bed by then, you might want to. He might be a few more deep then, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Love you. Bye-bye. So ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored about 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Sebastian Zale.